and welcome back to another video on building REST APIs with Python. My name is Ronald Kriyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. In the previous videos, we talked about what an API is, what is a REST API, uh, what is the product could be looked like when we start building it, what kind of API are we building. We also talked about how we can use Postman to check whether an API is working or not. And also we talked about the kind of APIs we're going to build, which is going to be a to-do list API. So in this video, we're going to jump straight into the code and see how we can start building our API. So in this video, or the second video of the next uh, three videos, total of five videos, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, a simple basic hello world using REST APIs or using Flask RESTful. So let's see how that looks like. So first we need to uh, open a text editor of your choice. So it can be anything. Let me just open that here. And now uh, make a folder called as to do underscore API and create a new file into that called as api.py. Now, first we need to import flask and flask restful. So make sure that you have flask and flask restful installed. Uh, I showed you how to do that in the previous video. So let's make sure you have both them. So from flask, import flask, and from, uh, what do we need? We need flask restful. So we need two things. So we need resource, which is going to handle our API, and we need the API class to actually instantiate our API. So okay, now we have the two basic things we need to start building our REST API. So let's initialize our app. So app equal flask name. And we need to initialize our API. So API is going to be API of the app. Now we have our basic API ready. So let's just start the server first. So if if name equal to main app dot run, and we'll just put the work. True. So yeah, we have our basic app ready, which is going to be running as a server uh, at localhost 5000, port 5000. Now let's start building our app. So uh, our app is going to have two endpoints uh, for this uh, Hello World program. So uh, every single API, uh, every single endpoint, a uh, URL endpoint. So slash to do is an endpoint slash to do slash one is an endpoint. So slash two, slash three, anything. So these are two endpoints which we'll be having inside our application where we can use one, two, or three to actually uh, see or interact with a specific task in the to-do list. And slash to do will be an endpoint to see all of our to-dos, or all of our tasks which we have. So uh, for now, for the Hello World program, to see how all of this works, we're going to have two endpoints. So we use, we actually have our endpoints written using the add resource uh, function. So first is going to be hello world. And it's going to be slash hello world only. And the next is going to be name so instead of saying hello world you're going to say hello name and this is going to be hello world slash so the name is going to be a string so this is how we actually uh, make sure that the end url accepts a string so uh, with these two symbols you have string and the name of the variable is going to be name so now we have our two endpoints ready hello world and hello world slash name so here uh, when you have local host 5000 slash hello world, we want uh, we want the uh, API uh, to give us 
uh, hello world as JSI. So when you do a get, when you do a get to this endpoint, we need a hello slash world string to be given us. And when we do a hello world slash, let's say run, we want the output to be hello. This is what we're going to build today. We're going to have two get requests. Uh, one is going to be a simple get request, which is going to be pretty straightforward, which is slash hello world. And second is going to be where we pass arguments to our uh, API. So this is an argument, which is going to be a string uh, of the variable name. So we're going to pass these arguments and see how we can get the results back from the server or get the data back from the server. So let's uh, build our API. So first we're going to have hello world and we're going to inherit from resource and as these two are going to be get apis we have a function called as get and this is going to take in nothing so it's just going to show us hello world right so we just have to do we have to return something when uh, the server gets a get request and make sure that the uh, what you return is serializable. So we're going to use JSON, uh, Java documentation, to actually return all of our information. So we're going to return the data to the hello world. So whenever the user uh, sends a get request to slash hello world he's going to get the result as data hello world. So what is happening here? So uh, first uh, the URL is seen that you know you have a slash hello world. Then, then there is a call given to the server where you go inside this get function here. And if there are any parameters, then the parameters are used or else you just return uh, data as hello world. Now we need uh, something called as hello name where we are actually able to uh, pass a parameter in a URL and see if that works or not. But before that, let's just run our server and see if the API is working. So I'm just going to comment this one for now. We're going to see if hello world is working or not. So we're going to see how, <coughs> sorry, we're going to use Postman with this. So let's run our server first. So I'm sorry, let me go inside tools and Python 3 API PY. Okay, now our server is up and running at this location. So now let's create a new request. It's going to be get and localhost 5000. And it's going to be hello world. So this is what we had here. Let me see if I can. Yeah. So now it will be easier for you to see. So localhost 5000 slash hello world, and we sent the request. And as you can see, we got the data as hello world. And here uh, we got a status 200, which means that, okay, our request was handled successfully. We will talk about these status codes in the next video, but for now, uh, we had sent a get request to hello world via HTTP, and we got the body as hello world. Now let's uh, build the second one which is going to be our hello world with a parameter. So class hello name, right? So hello name. And again, we're going to import, inherit from resource and get self and name. So since we are passing uh, an argument with the variable name name, we have name here. And all we have to do is return data. Uh, instead of hello world, we will do hello and dot format name. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah. So now, uh, let's just get this view. Yeah, and yep, the server is running. Now, what did we do here? So for every single URL endpoint, you need to have a new class, uh, which is kind of bad. So I want, uh, I was thinking of doing something where 
uh, since we have flash hello world i wanted to mix both of them into one single class but uh, i was able to see that we, we cannot do it so for every single url endpoint you need a class of its own so now we need a hello world slash string so now uh, when you pass something here so for example a second yeah so if you pass get local host 5000 hello world slash ronak the name variable stores ronak as a string sends it to this function get function and then you can use this anywhere inside your function to do anything you want this is how it works behind the scenes now let's see if this works in action so now we have a get request but to ronak and we press send and as you can see uh, we have our data hello ronak here and again if you want anything else so let's say uh, programming oh, sorry about that and uh, you press send and you get hello slash programming so this is how we can send a get request to our server and also have a parameterized get request sent to the server in the next video we are going to start building our to do api so we are going to uh, be focusing on the get and post so getting all the to do's and posting or creating a to do in our next video so we just covered a very simple hello world program and Flask RESTful and I'll see you guys in the next video where we talk about uh, building our to-do list API from scratch using Flask RESTful. Thank you.